Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're back on the 10 foot fish tank. I have found some really, really old brine shrimp eggs. Let's see if we get these to hatch. Stay tuned. So when I was setting this tank up, I did go out and picked up three or four smaller tanks. One of the tanks I picked up was a cube tank and the woman who I bought it off gave me these. She said she had these for about two or three years. They probably wouldn't hatch, but I give them a go. I put them straight in the fridge and they've sat there since I believe it was October 2016. I've not tried to hatch them. There's probably a quarter, maybe a third in the container. We're having a bit of a spring clean and I was gonna throw them in the bin. I thought this might make a good video. Can we get eggs that are probably at least seven or eight years old, maybe even older, to hatch? So this is my setup. It is manufactured by JBL. When I started basically setting the system up, I did consider about possibly breeding clownfish. I picked this guy up to feed the baby fry. When I first set the system up, I used this quite a lot. I went out and actually picked up a fresh packet of brine shrimp. I didn't try to use these at the time. I actually honestly forgot about them. The idea is, is you fill this full of water, add some salt, apply a light sauce to the base, add some brine shrimp eggs, and leave it 24 hours, come back the next day, and you should have brine shrimp. For a bit of fun, I thought we'll try and hatch these and see how successful we are. I am predicting not very successful. I've got an air pump back there hung up, and the tubing runs at the bottom, up, across the top, and into the top of the unit. So let's get this ready to be filled up. In the past, I would just put salt water from the aquarium and a tablespoon of brine shrimp and that is it. I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to use table salt. So we have got 500 ml of tap water. I'm going to go with a tablespoon of salt and probably a tablespoon of brine shrimp also. In with the salt. That is the brine shrimp. There's not much left but hopefully it will still hatch. And one tablespoon of brine shrimp. So let's put back on the lid and hook it into place. So we have the salt and the brine shrimp is just chilling out. Let's turn on the pump and we should be good to go. Believe this, 24 hours, come back tomorrow and see how many brine shrimp we actually get out of one tablespoon of possibly a decade or older eggs. So guys, it's 24 hours exactly and it is not looking good. By 24 hours, you should have quite a dark ridge on the top. Basically, once the brine shrimp has hatched, the shells will rise to the top. So if we just cut off the air pump, so I've just cut the air supply off and letting the basically the eggs <laughs> settle to the bottom by the looks of it. We have very few, if hardly any, shells on the top. The eggs are starting to settle and I can barely see any movement in there. So normally you would apply a light to the bottom and then drain the system and this would normally get you brine shrimp. However, all we seem to get is a pile of eggs, essentially. There's a few floating around, but that is not even worth feeding to the tank. So I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna fill it back up with fresh water and add marine reef salt and give that a go. So I think I know where I went wrong. I'll have to check the footage back, but I think I used one teaspoon and not one tablespoon. A lot of people use about one half tablespoons per litre. I previously used one teaspoon. So I'm gonna go with half a tablespoon. It's a little less than it should be, so I'll make it a heaped measure and that should be okay. I know people that use a spoon that you get in a tin of coffee and they literally just take a good scoop of salt chuck it in and it usually works so we'll call that good the salt I'm using is instant ocean So 
so it has been 24 hours, the eggs have not hatched whatsoever. We know the salinity is correct and the temperature at the moment is 22.8. Let's give it another 24 hours. It can take up to 48 but generally these guys are hatched and ready to be fed within 24. But we'll give it an extra day and see what happens. Okay so it's been 24 hours once more so that is 48 hours in total and unfortunately I don't think we're going to get any eggs hatching. We have no shells floating on the top and the water itself is still pretty clear. You tend to get a golden kind of colour going on once the, the brine shrimp have hatched but I don't see that at all. So let's turn down the air. Normally you would place a light down here and all the hatched brine shrimp will swim down and the shells will rise to the top. However as you can see there is basically hardly any if any really hatched shells across the top. As you can see the eggs have settled these are basically not hatched whatsoever. So I've had these eggs for about five years. I'm sure she mentioned when I picked up the tank, she hasn't used these for two or three years, but she had had them quite a while before that. So I'm gonna take a guess, and I'm gonna say these possibly could be 10 year old brine shrimp eggs. I thought it'd be a cool experiment. I was gonna chuck them in the bin, but I thought I'd bring you guys along and just see if we could actually hatch out these old brine shrimp eggs. It would appear we cannot. So I do have some old brine shrimp food. It should still be okay I would have thought. Let's see if this encourages some movement in the water at all. That would be a big fat no. Well guys, on that note, I think we're gonna call this a failure and probably wrap this video up. I am gonna go away and pick up some fresh eggs off the old interwebs, go on eBay, and find some good quality, genuine USA brine shrimp eggs and do a video in the future using this guy here, proving basically that it does work. Obviously, normally you wouldn't use eggs that are, you know, 10 years old. So guys, we're gonna leave this one here. Hopefully you've enjoyed the content. It has not been very successful, but it's been a bit of fun. So like always guys, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.